Hello everybody, I am Mr. Michael and welcome back to another satisfactory tutorial. Today we are looking at a beginner's setup for a coal generator. So this setup will produce 225 megawatts of power, however 20 of them will be used by the water extractor. And as I said, this is for beginners. If you would like to see more advanced setups, please let me know in the comments below. Let's get into this. So first thing I would like to talk about is the fact that I will feed in material in all of my setups from above the pipes. This is to avoid any messy maths requiring head lift for those pipes and it just makes things easier all around. So heading over to the water extractor, you'll notice that they will produce at 100% a maximum of 120 cubic meters of water. And so if we turn around and we go over to our coal generators, we'll notice that they need 45 cubic meters of water. So this means that one extractor can run almost three full coal generators. This one's set at 60%, meaning that it needs 30 cubic meters of water. So that will equal out to 120 cubic meters of water. I am using the overflow method for the coal. So I just set up a miner, run it down, put splitters along it and just lead them straight in. You don't really need a balance for this. It doesn't really need more than what is produced along that line. The good thing about these setups is that the generators will only use the material as power is needed. So if you're using half the amount of the power, it will only use half the amount of water and coal. So it's a win-win situation. Okay, so let's go make one. So we start with our coal generators. We put three of them all in a nice line following our grid lines and setting them apart with a nice amount of room in between them. This just gives a nice amount of room to work with and so that we're not tripping over any pipes and we're not getting stuck. If you want, you can build them right next to each other. I just prefer to spread out a little bit for the beginning. Next is our conveyor lifts. And you only need them at the starting height. Then the pipeline junctions. Now there's two ways to put these down. You can use the lines on the foundations, like these ones here. Or if you prefer, you can just stand in front of it and bring it towards you in a straight line. And again, give yourself plenty of room and just line them up. Now that all of your junctions are in place, place in all of your pipelines. There we go. Now moving into the center section, we are going to put our water extractor. Okay, and then just pipe that into the middle one. This is to make sure it's all nice and balanced. And it, I think it just looks nicer as well. Okay, so that's the water done. Now for the conveyor, a really easy way to do this is just put two conveyor poles at either end of your setup in parallel to the generators. This will put it at the correct height for your conveyor belt. And then we'll just hook this up, running all the way to the back the other end, or if it's tricky, you can line it up. And then starting at either end, line yourself up with your conveyor belt, switching over to a splitter, looking straight up, and that will line you up perfectly. And then just repeat for the other ones. There we go. I like putting the conveyor belt in first, that way I know that it is facing the right direction. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I've put everything down and the splitters or the mergers or the conveyor belt are facing the wrong way. And I have to restart, which is very annoying. Now the last thing to do is to hook this up to your main coal line or directly up to a miner. It's up to you really. There we go. Conveyor belt in and we're done for the coal setup. So the final thing to do is to hook up the power and let's get to that now. And here we are, all done. That final generator has been set to that 60% underclock so that it doesn't use too much of our water. The 
coal will filter in and it will start to overflow so do not worry if it's not flowing in fast enough or you can upgrade your conveyor belts I'll just show you that 60% underclock now there we go I forgot to do it earlier and that is our 30 cubic meters thank you so much for watching I'm Mr. Michael please check out my other videos on the channel and if you really like what I do please hit subscribe and there's only one question I have left for you what do we do with the biomass bonus? I know what I want to do. I'll see you guys next time.